All right, Coach Green, uh, you know, great performance from your team this weekend. Thanks. You know, um, top to bottom. Let's talk about your team, how you felt they, uh, they battled out there. I thought it was great to get 13 guys to the second day. We were a little short-handed. We lost our 95-pounder last week. Uh, so we knew coming in that having 13 guys, a tournament like this, it's tough to win. Uh, but everyone competed, everyone wrestled hard, and uh, to have everyone go in the second day was great. And talk about what it takes, you know, to, to get your guys through this this field, this depth of field that you have here at the Ironman. I think it's good. I mean, like, we're used to coming out here, and, and the veterans kind of set the tone for the younger guys. Uh, and, you know, we miss the California kids, so it's a different dynamic with them not being here. Uh, but it's still it's a great field, and you're going to be battling early on. We had some guys take some early losses and, and, and fight through the wrestlebacks, and you know you're going to win the tournament in the wrestlebacks. So it was great for them to, to perform. Talk about that a little bit, how you instill that, that fight, or how you prepare your team for this. Yeah, I think we, we battle hard in the room. Uh, we've got a great room. We've got 42 kids on the, on the roster. They're used to wrestling hard. They're used to wrestling when they're tired. They're used to wrestling when they're losing weight. So all those things kind of come here, and we just kind of teach them the, the values that we want to teach them and hope that it shows up in their wrestling. What are one or two individual performances uh, that really stick out to you? I mean, obviously, Lachlan McNeil. Um, I don't know if there's anyone in the country on a, a quicker and more powerful upward trajectory than him right now. Uh, you know, he's a special kid. And uh, getting getting into the folk style feel and his second year doing it is he's going to be, be, be tough to deal with. Um, and then there's not a kid who deserves, uh, you know, an Ironman title more than Drew Munch. Um, he's had to, had to fight to stay in our lineup. Uh, you know, every year he's got wrestle-offs, every year he's got a battle, and, and, and to get his hand raised in that final is pretty special. What does a win here mean for your team, your program? I mean, is it, is it Not expected? Much. No, I mean... We always stress to the guys that the team title is great to have, but it's not, you know, it's, it's December 14th right now. So we've got a long way to go. And uh, individually, I think we, we showed what we were capable of, and uh, that's got to continue to mesh. And we want to be just as good in February as, as we were yesterday and today. Where do you guys go from here? We have a home tournament next week, um, Excalibur tournament, and then we're headed to Powerade over break. Uh, so got a lot, of, a lot of more fights ahead of us in the next couple of weeks, and then just kind of heading into the dual season in January. Good deal. You guys did great. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you.